I can't move. I can't move. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's experiment time, so um, I've experimented with a, a new look, got rid of my ponytail, give myself a haircut, trimmed the beard, still left it nice and long here because I'm rather attached to that, but um, pruned everywhere else. Um, and I thought it's time that we had a look at a mod that I installed some time ago, or before I actually started this playthrough. Uh, which is clockwork and quite some time ago we got attacked by this chap Isidore I think Inigo actually got the kill in if I remember correctly but when we looted his body uh, we found this note so it says Isidore got a delving job for us meet me out near Cragwallow Slope in Eastmarch leave as soon as you get this I hear tell of some ruins there leading into the Velothi Mountains, just uncovered by a landslide, they say. This is big, fresh ruins. If we could be the first to pick them over, we could be rich. Who knows what's down there, though? Bring the best gear you can lay your hands to. Pick off someone on the road with good stuff if you have to. Just get it and get to me quick as you can. Camilla. So we need to go and find this Camilla and uh, give her the bad news about Isidore. He picked on the wrong guy to loot um, gear from. I think he actually had better gear than us at the time. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, Inigo's coming with me, but Mjol, we're going to leave behind. How can I help you? Um, but first we'll... Uh, We'll go back to White Run and uh, leave Mule there. How can I assist you? So Mule has slipped into something comfortable. Uh, Lydia should be here somewhere. There's Lydia. Good to see you. Still in your guards outfit. Um. Right, so Mjol. I'm itching for a fight. You can wait here, please. Certainly. Be careful. A homely uh. home. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk? Uh, anything on your mind? This building makes me feel as snug as a flea and fur. Good. I think Miol already misses the open road. She seems to get fidgety if she doesn't kill something at least every 12 hours. I can relate. Okay, she's gonna have to wait for a while longer because... All set? Where she's going, regular followers are not gonna be able to follow. But now that we have Inigo's spell, he can follow along quite nicely. And I go there and then get onto that road, that'll do. Now, usually. Um, if I get to do any looting or anything like that, um, that's part of what I spend quite a lot of my time editing out. But considering that this will only be the second time I've ever played this mod, um, I'm going to leave 
a lot of that in because I'm guessing that um, I won't be the only one that's unfamiliar with it. <laughs> so um, let's just enlarge this screen and then I can actually look more directly at you some of the time. So my setup is I've, I've got um, my MacBook Pro um, and uh, that's right directly in front of me but the screen is quite small compared to my telly so I've actually got a 55 inch TV screen that I look at so if I need to read any small print um, <laughs> I like to look at the TV. And it's quite tempting to actually look at the TV anyway. So I'm trying to train myself so that I'm not looking up there all the time. I actually spend some time with a better eye line. Now who's this? Oh, we have a troll! have a dead troll. And again, I would normally have edited that out, but I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm wondering if people actually prefer to see what I'm looting. Um, I tend to find it quite boring to keep looking and seeing what rubbish you pick up, which is why I edited it out. I don't like to watch it myself. And I can actually save if uh, about you know just just from editing out the stuff that I loot. I can normally save a good twenty minutes, half hour, just by editing out all the looting. And the um, this I would normally edit out as well. I would, let me know in the comments. Do you prefer me editing it out, or do you want me to leave it in? This kind of travelling, because. Nothing much is happening here. I would have left the troll in. And uh, edited out all this walking. Let me know. Let me make, make a comment. Leave it in. Edit it out. Because this is not my channel. It's your channel. And uh, I want to try and provide content that you actually want to watch. So here we are. The doorway to the ruins appears unstable. It seems likely that going through it will cause it to collapse, trapping you inside and any followers outside. Which is why we left Lydia and Mol, Mjol uh, back at uh, Bree's home. This will, prevent you this will prevent you from returning to Skyrim until you find another way out. Okie dokie. So, since we have a nice little spell for Inigo, we can get him through. So, uh, we have Windhelm there, Kynesgrove, and the Velothi Mountains tunnels. And what's this place? Shorestone. Give you an idea where it is. Again, maps I normally edited that normally edit that out, but see if people want to see it. Crash. Okay. So exactly as predicted. Our way out is cut off, so we're stuck here. But we now have 
Finally! Where have you been, my friend? Well... I had rocks on my head. Mm -hmm. And just in case you're curious... They're a lay team. Okay then. When I did this before, I actually came through here because the, the 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 attack gets from Isidore gets triggered at level five. And uh, when I did this before, I actually came through here at level five. So, and it was really really hard. So I came through on my own, and I swore that I would never come back through on, on my own again. I'm going to wait for any go. <laughs> um, so Camilla's Trial Part 1 Isidore got sick of waiting for you I've gone on ahead to scout the tunnels I'll put up some torches to light the way pick up your feet and follow them to find me I mean it hurry up I want to see your fingers stained from finding this note with the ink still wet something in this place makes my hair stand on end it's as if the shadows are moving Camilla. Well, I've got a feeling that we haven't been quick enough because it was quite some time ago that Isidore attacked us. Now, who's that up there? You see her? Hello! Hello! Is that you, Camilla? She's not very talkative. We have a broken axe head, some rubbish, goat hide. Hiding underneath the goat hide, we have a flawless sapphire and a sapphire. Didn't mind me taking that, Camilla, did you? Stay there, I'll be right up. One minute. Well, this is where you were, and you've gone. What is on your mind? Ah, oh, why do you don't burn yourself with that torch? If you need anything else, just ask. There's no note there, is there? Um, items, books, Camilla's Trial Part 1. some leather and stuff
Okay. Lots of broken weapons. Now, last time I came through here, uh, sorry, the, the only other time I did this quest, I actually missed one of Camilla's trial notes. I'm going to try not to do that this time. So I have done it one time before, but it's still quite new to me. Not sure I want to go down there. so I can get back out again go that way It's kind of funny because usually when I do the <clears throat> the let's plays I know exactly what I'm doing because I've played <laughs> Skyrim itself more times than I am happy to admit and um, you know I usually know exactly what I'm doing or what I intend to do. Uh, and this is a whole different ball game. Let me try that tunnel that we saw. Just a ruin. Whoa. Keep forgetting that I can actually brighten the computer as well. The computer is actually quite dark as compared to the, the TV, which is another reason that my eyes keep going up there. Let me know in the comments as well if you have played this Clockwork mod. If you've got to Clockwork Castle. Um, Okay, so there's not as much in that water as I thought there was. I thought there were treasures to be found in there, but apparently not.
There's a note. Okay, Isidore, Duema Ruins. I thought this was just an old imperial place, but no, that must have come later. There's more than that here. This might be it. This could change everything for us. Just be careful, there is someone else down here. Something not right about her. Always disappears before I get a good look. Can't leave though, not now. Camilla. So I think we saw her, didn't we? So that's not Camilla. That is somebody else. And I'm wondering. Carabineer Journal. Only the final entry is legible. Okay, by the divines, I'm glad to be heading away from Clockwork Castle and away from those metal men. It's not just me, I can see it in the faces of the whole caravan. Everyone's scared of them. A special dead end trip once a month through these crumbling gloomy tunnels and back again for just one customer. It spooks the horses and it spooks the men. Clodovec doesn't pay enough for this. Come to that, his old man didn't spend enough clearing and shoring up the tunnels in the first place. You would think that of all people he could afford it. I guess you don't become a trader baron by way of being overly free with your money. So many side passages, blank doorways, yawning at us as we pass. No one knows what's down there. All we can do is stick to the main road and listen to the clatter of carts echo down those darkened corridors as we pass them by. Come the morning, we'll have to get the carts up those damnable stairs. I swear those boards are going to slip one of these days. But then we'll be outside and back in the world again. And the snow. I suppose in here we're out of the weather at least. Okay, what time is it? Sticking to the main road. Ah. Spiders. Come on, Indigo, you like a spider? survives and some frostbite venom. The chest.
Thank you, Inigo. I'll take the eyes because they're light. The other thing I did, by the way, in preparation for this was the um, bags and bandoliers um, mod. So I've got a huge knapsack. I made all this. I could have made for any go as well, but um, I thought that's a bit much. So that's got my carry weight up to 800, as you can see with all that on. So. Um, but I'll only wear it when we absolutely have to because there's an awful lot of stuff in here to be looted Let's go this way. Now there's a chest. One word enough to get over there. Let's hope so. Okay, so it was worth the up there. Hello! Hello! Hello? How do I get up there?
So I don't know how to get up there. Um, usually as well, I would have edited out any unfortunate things like dying. Um, I'm going to leave that in. And I'll try and make that jump again. But next time I'll save the game before we do it. So that's where note number two was. I actually didn't see her up there first time round. Be nice to get up there. Hello? Don't think there is any way I can get up there. where the spiders were. And we're back here. Conjuring, Helmet, Potion, Conjure Storm Atronach. So, let's not be stupid, let's save the game. Because only a fool makes the same mistake twice. I definitely picked the wrong route down, but <laughs> we, s we seem to have got away with that. Not sure how you're supposed to do that. Managed to glitch down the side of the wall. Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> I think I'm right in thinking that the only way out is back to the beginning again. Hello, any go? I think 
good at this bit. You're still up there. What if I say hello with unrelenting force? force? Completely unmoved. for note three. And there should be somewhere fairly easily found. The hanging skeleton. Nice little strong box. Valuables, bone meal, I don't really want. Okay. Well done, Inigo. Hello. gold hello she's 
it's really not very talkative. There's part three. Isidore, this is all wrong. Can't go back. Can't face it. Where are you, Camilla? Well, you're a strange one. But what have we got? Oh, there is nothing else. strange siren we run round there and she is gone again what do you think of it so far Bone meal and a skull. No, thank you. Smattering of gold. Oh, and the spooky skulls, they turn. Look at the skulls. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Fingers are talented. Thank you. Now, what is that? Like a beam of light. from the skull not sure if that's actually meant to be there or is it just a glitch I don't know See any notes? <laughs> that is entirely inaccessible. So we haven't encountered any physical threats as yet. One spooky lady. But other than that, no threats. and a hat 
hawk beak, yes please. Hawk feathers, yes please. Lock picks, yes please. More broken swords. Bone meal you can keep. Sort of fish scales I'll have. Iron ingots I really don't need. Another locked strong box. Pardon me. Flawless garnet. So there's a decent amount of loot to be had. Yes, my friend. I am always here for you, my friend. Just making sure of that. Bit of leather. So, here we have some chairs all stacked. More chairs stacked. Be nice to get up there, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, we have to go this way first. And here, Camilla. And note number four. And this is obviously the last one because she can't write anymore after she's dead. I needed you and you weren't. I needed you and you aren't here. I thought those were your footsteps, but they weren't. Always coming up behind me, but nothing there. Time stood still and she came towards me slowly, slowly. I couldn't move. I can't leave anymore. Can't face it. Can't go back out into the world. I'll just sit here and I'll just stay here with the with the bones until it's over. Sorry, is it sorry is it all? Poor Camilla. So I just got all the notes because I say I definitely missed one last time. Hello, are you going to talk to me now? I can't move. I can't move.
Oh. So that is locked and I can't go through there. Those bones, I think they were stacked nicely as I remember and you've messed them up. They were kind of like in an arch, I think. Oh. The head's on backwards. Yeah, there you go. These weren't there before. There, that's how they were like. Crunch. And the chairs are all stacked. Remember how they were before? Now they're all stacked up and... And now we have a big pile of bones. Let's get up to here where we couldn't access before. <laughs> but still no actual physical threat. So it's kind of spooky. <laughs> and now looky. All holding hands. What's the light? So you can look in here. Bone meal, health potion. Take that because I'm sure we're going to need some health potions later on. So many bones. What you doing? Follow the lights.
Let's have some hanging moss. I'm not sure I've tasted that yet in this game. Bag of gold over there. <laughs> Missed it. Is it that way? Uh, that's the way I came. So you want to go this way. Hello. Oh, the glass lake. Twice died. Fortunately, we just got here, so let's take that a little bit more carefully. So I've got to go this way. So, you're right, Nico. Okay, so that's about an hour. So I'm going to call that for first episode of Clockwork, and I'm going to carry on playing. So the other one will be uh, follow very soon afterwards. I'm not going to do a hell of a lot of editing for these, and. Uh, so you can actually see what goes on and um, experience the mod with me in its entirety. And uh, see you very soon for the next episode. And
Okay, so I haven't moved a muscle. I haven't actually uploaded that previous video yet. I'll just carry on straight away playing. Um, so when they do come, they'll be on, when you do see the first one, uh, this will only be a few hours um, after the second one. So, well, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'm basically I'm just trying. What I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm just carrying on playing. Before no, normally I record one episode and then upload straight away, but I've recorded one and I'm carrying on playing. So we can see this ice is absolutely crystal clear. And it must be quite thick because it ain't breaking. And I do remember this, but I have no idea where I'm going. But I do remember this. This is kind of spooky. There she goes. There's our lady. Ugh. Seriously spooky. So, where do we go? Can't remember. She's definitely interested in us because she keeps following us. Can I get up there? So we're going to go up in these towers, see what we find. Health potion, thank you very much. All the kind of spooky music makes you feel like you're going to get attacked at any moment. But, um... It doesn't happen. Have I got a telekinesis spell?
Potion of Healing. I don't know why, but I like these empty wine bottles. I don't think I've seen anything like them in the vanilla game. And I thought previously that they might make nice clutter decorations. Steady in you go. There's a chest. Whoops. Well, that didn't work. I've no idea which of these I've been up and which I haven't. This looks familiar. Yeah. So, where am I supposed to go? Looks like I'm supposed to go there, but how do I get there? She's still with us. Ah. So this is somewhere we haven't been.
a nice pile of coins. We've been here before. Oh, there we go. Uh, damn it. You're right, mate. Yeah. lockpicks need those so this is going to be quite different from my usual videos and I know I asked in the last video um, but it would be really nice to know what you think of this hello okay so now she's now she's hurting me so now she's a threat not actually attacking me, but just being near her actually hurts. She passed right through me. So she is a ghost. And there's not much we can do about her except stay away from her. So we've got that wailing siren. Being near her actually hurts. Have a coin purse. Yeah, so aggressive. Oh. So she doesn't bother you at all. <laughs> it's, I mean, it, it's quite a weak um, attack. It's not exactly life threatening. But <laughs> I, was, I remember being really spooked out by this first time I played it. And. Uh, Spooky. I mean, this quest is good and all. I mean, the, the, so the very first time I played this, I was uh, really, really spooked out by it, and it's not having quite the same effect on me <laughs> this this time because I know what's what to expect, but. The final reward, the house that you get from this, um, is really good. And although it's not having the same uh, freak out effect as it did previously, uh, I'm still enjoying it. I kind of like it. That seems to be the way. And I, I can't really remember. I'm, I remember the feel of the mod, the, the, the whole uh, quest. But uh, don't, I don't remember the specifics. I had forgotten this. Bit. Oh, what's this? Oh. Whereas before, I just wanted to get through it and think, ah, she's trying to kill me. Um,
later on uh, there is quite a formidable physical threat uh, well at least uh, no yeah because um, thinking about it I'm, I'm, what did I say I was level 18 when I came through here first I was on I was on my own and I was only level 5 my level was considerably higher when I finished uh, when I finally got out of here again but um, obviously at level 5 uh, absolutely everything was a threat even her master lock let's speed this up so we have a staff of mage light those bottles again. Yeah the wine bottles are usually like that in the game. Let's take a few of those as well. Just for some uh, clutter. I just uh, find a house and uh, just drop them around for a bit of the clutter. Well done. Oh, Ruby, thanks Indigo. Now I'm sure that I missed something. I'm trying to have a really good explore this time because I, I know that I didn't before. because I was absolutely scared, terrified, and I wanted to get out. going back the way we came yeah okay so by the way um, it's actually quarter past three in the morning she who must be obeyed has gone to bed several hours ago uh, usually I play in the daytime, but uh, I've not been sleeping too well of late. I'm a terrible insomniac, and I like to record during the day because then I get sort of nice sunshine and through it through the uh, patio doors. And um, it, it just makes more sense to to um, record during the day, uh, but I haven't because thing is because I stay awake all night then eventually I fall asleep during the day and I uh, have no energy to record during the day to play I don't really feel like playing um, and I think I've gone back on myself again oh this is right 
that's it. Uh, yeah, so I don't really feel like recording or playing during the day. And because uh, I'm too tired because I haven't slept at night. So this time I thought I'm staying awake at night anyway. So try to record and not disturb Mrs. Burton. She's really following me. Unfortunately, she doesn't bother any go at all. But if we do get attacked by, um, which we will do later on, I think if we get through this and actually get to the house. Um, before we actually meet any actual f actual physical threat, um, can't exactly remember. Well, I have all that. That's lovely. <laughs> you know, are those nice wine bottles? <laughs> Oh, what happened there? <laughs> so she's still threatening. But there was definitely... There we go, there's more. So there's that landslide that blocked us in. That spell in you go. So there's wailing sirens. Oh, that was close. Alright, they landed right on top of you. This is definitely not good. This is a fully fledged earthquake here. And we are through to Clockwork Castle Grounds. Excuse me, my friend.
Actually, I think that's a better cutoff for the first video. We've got through to the Clockwork Castle grounds. So now all we've got to do is walk up to the house and then continue from there. So this will be end of episode one. So this is end of episode one. And I think I will stop and edit this. Uh, not edit this, upload it. And um, get that up and, and then uh, continue with the rest of this tomorrow. It is 20 past three and I could do with a cup of tea. So see you all very, very soon.